Hello everybody and welcome back to Planet Zoo. From this vantage point you can tell that our zoo is growing quite a bit. And we do have a couple of new animals today that I wanted to share. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. If you're enjoying the series, please subscribe. It lets me know that you'd like me to continue with more of the Planet Zoo. Now, first of all, if you've watched my other videos, you will know that I had quite the challenge with an area over here where the uh, turtle, the tortoises were and the zebras. Uh, and I couldn't clear it. Everybody bunched up there like crazy and it was just really, really a mess. Uh, so I decided that I would move them. So I moved the zebra and the warthog to another enclosure and I added the gems buck to this enclosure. And they are very beautiful. They're antelopes and they're from Southern Africa. There's nothing really uh, special or unique about them. They're, they're not endangered. They do quite well. Uh, they love to uh, be in herds with only one male. Uh, the male is larger than the female. In fact, you can probably tell the difference here. This is the male, and these are the two females. Uh, oh, we've got a pregnant cheetah, which is fantastic. So uh, they are hunted for their horns from uh, trophy hunters. So uh, that would be the only thing that would be negative about them right now. They're doing very, very well. But I just thought they were just beautiful, and uh, I wanted to share them with you. Uh, they're just new into this enclosure. I didn't make any changes other than uh, to take out the mud pit uh, that was in here. And you can see that the guests really don't punch up anymore uh, like they used to. So I'd like to get over and share the other new update with you. Uh, on our way, we're going to stop by here and see how the bears are doing. They've just been fed. Uh, I'm not sure where Mama and Baby are. Maybe they'll be coming out here. Here we go. Oh, there's the little one. He must be hungry. He's going to come over here and get, get some food. Oh, here comes Mama. And you can see that the bears have a diet. Uh, they're omnivores. They will eat both meat and a vegetable matter, whatever happens to be available. This papa wasn't hungry. Mama stays very, very close to baby. Oh, she's still hungry. She's going to eat off this pole thing. She's done. Um, and we move through here. I'm just going to take us through uh, Wildcat Canyon. We're not going to make any stops. I did recently have a death of a female lioness, and it was really sad because she had just had a cub. And the cub is still there. Uh, I'm not sure how it's doing. I'm not sure how the game uh, what the game does with that. We do have quite a bit of trash here on the road. Uh, after I show you the next uh, exhibit, I think we're going to have to come back here and do something about this. Uh, we should have a worker. Here's one right here. Let's bring him over here. See if she doesn't do some work here. Yeah, okay. So, you, I, you might have heard that sound just a second ago. Yep, we have elephants. They're, uh, <laughs> I put them in just recently. There's uh, two males and two females at the moment, and we do have a pregnant female. Uh, now, these are the African elephants. And you'll also notice the zebras and the warthogs are here as well. And I lifted 
everybody's productive restrictions so uh, they can now uh mate oh look at this it's a zebra it's deciding to take a swim so we've got everybody together we've got a new little one here mumina <laughs> but the uh african elephants obviously are in africa they uh let's see if we can camera on her while I talk. They are very, very intelligent. They bond together. They have lifetime bonds with their sister mates. Um, in fact, if they don't see the other uh, sisters in quite some time and they do come across them again, they remember them and they're very, very uh, friendly toward them. Mom and baby have real strong bonds. And they're beautiful animals. Unfortunately, they're very, very, very threatened. As most of you probably know, uh, they are hunted for their ivory tusks. And poachers just, it's a constant battle. And uh, hopefully, one day, we won't have to worry too much about that. Uh, we have a lot of uh, elephants on reserves, but we still have issues with poachers even on the reserves. One interesting fact about these elephants is, uh, is farmers need to keep them off their land, which obviously you know they can cause quite a bit of damage. So uh, elephants are extremely afraid of beehives. Our uh, farmers have learned to put beehives around, like beehive fences around their farms. And uh, this will keep the elephants out. Quite ingenious. <laughs> Very interesting. So that is the African elephant, and I'm very, very happy to have them finally in the zoo. I continue to work on the enclosure. The uh, keepers were having difficulty uh, getting inside and the animals were getting quite hungry uh, so I had to make some changes I uh, I first of all took out the big ship that was here I am going to be building a climbing structure that is going to come over this way for them uh, in its place because as you can see it leaves quite a huge expanse of water uh, so I'm going to do something with that uh, possibly build up a little bit more land over here for them so they can grow their families because they do enjoy sitting up on this this uh, climbing structure. But now the uh, the keepers can get through here and everybody's quite happy. Uh, we have a new little Komodo dragon youngin in here as well. It's a little female. Her name is Budwati. And the youngin of the Komodo dragon really don't look that much different. They're just smaller. Uh, and once she matures, she will have to leave the uh, enclosure because uh, having two adults in here, two females, the females do not get along uh, and they will constantly fight. Food time! Thank you for joining me today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like and subscribe. And hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.